AITA for suggesting to my boss that the playdate policy should be included in the parent handbook if she wants it to be enforced. I'm a teacher at my daughter's preschool. This preschool has a guideline that teachers aren't allowed to babysit students until after they graduate, but that guideline was not listed in any of the documents I had to sign. The other teachers and I don't always adhere to this guideline because our compensation doesn't justify them dictating what we do in our free time. The school was recently closed for two weeks at the end of summer, and some parents asked me to supervise their kids since they knew I wouldn't be working. I agreed to supervise my daughter's three best friends, and they were at my house for eight hours a day every day that the school was closed, at a rate of $15 per child per hour. The parents and I are all friends, so they were completely comfortable with this being a playdate, not formal supervision, and made sure not to use the term babysitting around their kids. The children mentioned it on the first day back, we had a playdate at Ms. OP's house every day, and at the end of the day, my boss tried to reprimand me for breaking the babysitting guideline. I told her it wasn't babysitting, it was a playdate between my child and her best friends. She asked if the other parents were present, and I explained that they were not, just as I was not present at my son's playdates this week and wouldn't be there next week either. She asked how many other children were there, how long they were there, how many days a week, and if I received any compensation for this. I told her it was my child and three other girls, they were at my house for eight hours a day every day that school was out, and I do not have to disclose any compensation provided by the parents for the food and activities during the playdate. She tried to argue that this was against policy, so I reminded her that I was acting as a parent, not as a teacher, and that I needed to see where this was against policy. She claimed that there were too many kids, parents had to be present, they were there for too long, and that I could not be compensated in any way for playdates. I asked her to show me the restrictions on playdates outside of school hours in the parent handbook, which she couldn't do, so I told her that if these rules for parents are not in writing at the time of signing the contract, they are not enforceable. She's upset, but there's nothing she can hold against me because there are no restrictions on playdates in the parent handbook, and she can't add any just to spite me because that would upset a lot of parents. My coworkers disagree with her rules but also think I'm taking advantage of my position as a parent to get away with bending the rules. So, AITA for having these playdates and telling my boss that any restrictions on playdates need to be included in the parent handbook before the contract is signed for them to be enforceable?